All right, here's the six inch rod that we're using. That, they have to put the wrist pin somewhere to make the rod fit, so they went into the ring land of the oil control ring. And it requires that it has a support rail, which is right here. So you put the support rail in first. Now there's a little bump. And that little bump in this configuration goes up. Why? Because that little bump is going to get stuck between here and here during operation it's going to be it's allowed to move a little bit but it also stops and those are the stops and it gives us the oil control ring assembly support 100 percent of the time which is needed or it ripped the oil control ring apart so there's been some confusion in the past of up and down the little dot in this configuration goes up if it, you were thinking about it in the configuration of normal operating parameters you know the piston would be the other way of course right and uh, in normal operation in the car it's it's the other way and so this bump in that configuration would go down so just I wanted to clear it up because there's been some confusion and uh, you know what they say a picture is worth a thousand words here's an icon 702 piston right here we're 350 40 you know 30 overboard and right here you can see that the wrist pin hole intrudes into the oil control ring land right here here's the oil control ring land right here and when it gets to here whoa hey so it necessitates the need for that UEM R08 uh, oil control ring assembly support rail and that's where it goes and that's why it's needed because there's no support right there it rip itself apart so you put that stabilizer ring in there and in this configuration the bump goes up because the bump rides between here and here it can move but when the bump hits that or that it stops therefore giving support all the time to the oil control ring assembly and that is the whole point That bump we're talking about is right there. This is the UEM R08. This is the stabilizer ring for uh, the oil control ring and they put a mark on it you heard to me refer to it as the bump it's right there and that bump just so there's no confusion because there's the same kind of marks on piston rings now in that case the piston ring mark like this goes up on the piston as in the context of being in the normal running condition or position of the engine that's sitting in the vehicle so there's a bump on this and there's a there's bumps on that just uh we're going to concentrate on this this bump well it has a divot here now on the piston ring it just has the divot but this divot is a bump on the other side we'll show it to you later and that bump when it's on the piston in the normal running condition like it's sitting in the vehicle is facing down it's uh, used for six inch rods and the piston pin goes into the oil control ring land because the rods longer and the piston shorter because it's faster it's lighter 2618 and uh, that divot on this side we're looking at puts a bump on the other side and that bump like I say in the normal 
position running in a vehicle and goes down. If the engine's upside down and you're working on it inside the shop, out of the vehicle on the engine stand uh, for any reason, um, the bump would go up. But don't get confused. Just use the normal position that it's in the vehicle. So it would be facing down in that configuration. So that's it. It's right there. Here's a good shot of the bump. The bump is right here. Like we saw earlier, there's a divot on the other side of this, which is actually could be considered a punch mark because the uh, metal made a bump on this side. It's right here, outlined in silver here. So that's the bump. So that bump, when the car, again, is in its normal, configuration with the motor inside the car running that bump is going to go down and <clears throat> it is a bump that we're talking about don't put the divot anywhere it's the, the uh, relationship is where the bump goes <laughs> this bump right here it goes down when you're using oil control ring to stabilize the oil ring assembly because you have a six inch rod and the wrist pin hole is in the ring land. So don't get confused. And there has been confusion here. This is why I'm going into it in detail. Uh, that's where it goes. Yeah, have you ever wondered how fast pistons go up inside, up and down inside of a motor? How fast? If you want to see it live, Click on the link below. It's interesting.